video I'm going to show you how to set up Vidalia and run it and use it uh, to surf anonymously using Firefox. I believe it works in Internet Explorer as well, but I use Firefox, so that's what I'm going to show you. Um, it is, uh, I already downloaded it. It's like 8 megs, uh, but uh, you, to download it you would go here, Vidalia in Google. And it's the first one, so download. And it's this one for Windows that you want here. Uh, 0.0.16. You just click there. Anyways, uh, Vidalia is a GUI for Tor. GUI is graphical user interface. Um, Tor is just command line, but what Tor is, is... Let's see if I can get a link there. Uh... Virtual tunnels that allow people and groups to improve their privacy and security on the internet. Um, if I was told right, it was invented by the government to use, uh, I believe. Anyways, so it creates a virtual network. You can see the computers here going down. The last hop, though, is unsecure. Um, so there was this one guy who was, uh put in prison for sitting at this last hop and collecting all the unencrypted data that was going back and forth from the server to, or from the client to the server. And uh, he got some government passwords and such. Uh, anyways, yeah, that's what it's used for. So, not used for collecting data, sorry. Uh, it's used for surfing anonymously, creating a virtual network of computers. Anyways, the server sees this guy's IP, not yours. That's pretty much what it what it means. Um. Anyways, so we will get started with the Dahlia. Open. Okay. Okay. So it installs Provoxy and Tor button, which is an extension that appears here, and you just click it, and it's on. Uh. You can use it for, yeah, instant messaging, IRC, whatnot. Uh, it's pretty cool. Next. Okay, so Tor button. If you have Firefox, if you use it, it's nice to have. Provoxy, you don't need it, but I install it anyway. I've, to be honest, never tried to do it without it. It's probably not worth my time trying to figure it out. I don't know, I just let it run. Uh, Tor and Fidelia, you probably need both of these, but uh, whatever. Yeah. And there. Okay, so uh, I opened up a Firefox window. I actually have to restart Firefox because I had it open before. Uh, this is uploading though, so I will show you a bit of the GUI and hope it's done by the time that I am done. Uh, a couple things, you can view the network of computers that you have available. Uh, this is our connection. And we can see the IPs. Um, yeah, that's pretty much that. Uh, if you hit stop and start again, you can get a new pathway and get new computers to go through. Uh, use a new identity. Uh, every connection you make, it will make a new one. Bandwidth, see what it's using and whatnot. Uh, settings, you can... Yes, here. Relay traffic for the Tor network. You can set up a uh, um your computer as a relay so that people will go through your computer as well if they want to uh it's nice to have if you want but i'm going to run it just as a client to show you uh appearance you can change whatever you probably want to leave this alone this is the port that it's running on on your computer and you want to leave the password blank and randomly generate on. Most of the default settings for this will work. In fact, all of them will. Uh, unless, you know, that or you know, the ISP blocks the connection or your firewall is blocking it. Uh, that's pretty much it. Uh, 
I'll cut the video now and start it back up again once it finishes uploading. Uh, yeah, okay. Okay, I'm back, uh, finished uploading. Uh, this is my waste video. I did a couple, a uh, little bit before. Uh, so now I'm going to restart. Uh, here we go. Okay, you'll notice down here... It's interesting, maybe not. Oh. Well. Okay, never mind. Okay, well, um, if that happens, and you search for Tor button, which is the add-on that appears down here. Uh, here it is. That's Firefox. Okay. Okay. Now, uh, I'm going to enable Tor and check out what my IP is. Yes, I did spell that right. There's only one D. I don't know who made the URL, but, uh, yes. Okay, so it looks like it's working. Uh, let's see how well it does. You can see Provoxy on the bottom right and Tor. Looks like it's German. I can't tell exactly. A lot of the Tor exit nodes are German. I actually noticed that. Uh, let's see. If I'm right, if it is German. Yes, Berlin, Germany. There. And that is not my IP. I can guarantee you that. Uh, that's pretty much it. Uh, thanks for watching. If you like it, subscribe and uh, leave me a good comment. I don't know. Thanks.